All right, YouTube, let's get right into it. Like and subscribe, please. This is a true story. This is an interesting story. Same with all my other stories. Check out my other stories too on my channel. Check out my music. Check out all of my content. So, this is what happened. So, I'm going to protect their identity of my friends and the people in this story. So, I'm going to use different names for this story. So, one of them is uh, my good friend. I'll just call him Brad for this story. And it'll include one of his exes and some other guy. So, uh, my friend Brad, he had two girlfriends ever in his life. Um, his first girlfriend he dated for about a year and a half, something like that, um, which was his freshman year of college. That was the first girl he's ever done anything with. Uh, first time he's had his first kiss, lost his virginity, blah, 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 blah. For her, uh, she's already had uh, kissed two people before then. Um, but she's never lost her virginity yet at the time. So there was a guy. Let's call him Alex. This guy, there was always, um, my friend Brad would always bring up, or it was like Brad and also me and uh, certain other friends in our friend group. We would like joke around of this legendary story about this guy named, let's use this name, Alex. This guy, Alex, um, was one of the two people that uh, Brad's girlfriend at the time did stuff with before uh, they've obviously, before they've dated. So one thing in particular that they did was Alex um, and Brad's girlfriend at the time um, both like sucked each other's toes and did feet kind of stuff, right? Uh, so it was like a running joke within our friend group, just making jokes about that. It was just like he was a legend uh, in this strange way. Um, so this guy, Alex, lived a couple towns away from the college we went to. But Brad, he is, and like... Brad's girlfriend lived in that town as well um, as that guy, Alex, which is a couple towns away from our college. I live uh, like four towns away from that town, um, but this friend, my friend Brad, is from a town next to Springfield, Massachusetts, which is about two and a half hours west of my city. I live about 15, 20 minutes west of Boston. Boston is right by the East Coast, the east, the eastern point of Massachusetts. So, uh, and also, mind you, where Brad's girlfriend at the time lived is about two and a half hours away from his hometown as well. Something like that. So, it's like far, right? So... Brad never met this guy, Alex, and also his girlfriend at the time never was in contact with him uh, since like about half a year or a year before Brad and her started dating, right? So <clears throat> Brad and her broke up um, halfway through their sophomore year of college. And they both completely stopped contact after that. She was like kind of like over time in the relationship, she became crazy and just not a good girlfriend at all. Um, and yeah, so we, it was kind of like a wonder, like whatever happened to her, after then, right? She like, 
considering like she kind of lost it and like she was the one who broke up like strangely for no really valid reason uh and like she was quite mysterious after then right um she was like this whole big mystery um and we never really heard about her again ever um and um everybody like kind of all of our friend group unfriended her on social media uh and th- there was just no presence of her in any way she never contacted blah blah, blah. Never her name was ever mentioned in ever existing around us anymore. So, Brad ended up having another girlfriend. He started dating her uh, about, like, early on in junior year of first semester. And he's still dating her. So, I graduated, we graduated college a couple years ago. Uh, So they've been together at this point, I think about three years, I believe it is. Uh, Three years or so, maybe three years and a half. I don't know. So congrats to that. Uh, But anyways, I visited Brad's town about a month ago. I think it was about that long ago. And we went to an arcade kind of place that's an hour and a half north of his town. So we went to Northampton. Uh, So that town, Northampton, um, is probably around, I'm guessing, three and a half hours away from where Alex and Brad's ex is from. And so we like at the the cashier at that place who just like gave a little intro saying like, oh, this is where this is uh, like you could play mini golf here, this and that, this and that, you know, it was a really neat place. Uh, but Brad recognized him. And the reason why he recognized him is because it seemed to be Alex because from what he he's seen on his social media is that's what he looks like right like he remembers those like photos of that his ex showed him years ago of him you know uh this legend this mystery so brad decided to stick with his gut feeling in asking hey are you alexander blah 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 uh, and so it turned out to actually be him. So the thing that's so fascinating about this is this guy, he went to college and he graduated, right? Why the hell would he move all the way to this random Western mass town when there's a lot more job opportunities and s- stuff going on in this part of Eastern mass? And it's just such a random town to move to. Why is he working at a place like that? And it's just so, so coincidental that we happen to interact with him in this way. And and basically what they exchanged was that he used to date her uh, long ago. So that's why he's like heard of him. Uh, and he was like saying, oh yeah, like uh, I haven't had contact with her since like this year, this month or whatever. Uh, I mean like he said the month, a year, which happened to be like about, uh, six months before, uh, Brad and her started dating. Uh, so like it was kind of a thing where he was like kind of curious on where she was in life. Maybe if he knew, uh, but he had no idea because he happened to not be in contact with her since before Brad did. So it was very interesting experience and interesting coincidence that we happened to bump into him there and that he took the leap of faith in finding out whether or not it was him. So it's very weird how small of a world it may be or whom you may encounter at the strangest, most unique places. So thank you for listening. Check out my other content, my other material. Uh, It's a small world. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.